Hi guys, so today we're going to build the acrylic case for the Arduino Uno. Parts. Six sides of the acrylic case, make sure to peel off the paper that comes with them. Next, on the Arduino Uno, both THD and SMD versions are compatible with this case. Four pieces of translucent washers, eight pieces bolts, and you've got screws, long and short, for each. And it'll be handy to have a screwdriver nearby, and maybe tweezers, but definitely not required. First off, you're going to want to align the bottom side with the holes found on the UNO. In case you were wondering what those holes were for, it's to secure the board to cases like this. Next, find the top panel that will go on top of the board. The cutouts make it easy to figure out which way it should be oriented, so set that aside for now. You can also check which of the other parts go where. The washers will go between the case and the board. To secure the UNO above the acrylic. Make sure to handle them carefully as these are jumpy boys and will roll everywhere really quickly. I actually lost one. The shorter screws will then go under the case and through the washer and board from below then secured by bolts on top. You can actually do it the other way around too. Here you can see me using the coaster to simultaneously flip off the screws because I'm lazy like that. Don't worry and take your time. A mistake I made was installing the Uno before the front side panel. Make sure to put this in first before the board because it sits right underneath both parts and won't fit otherwise. Trust me, I've tried. It's up to you though if you wish to install the other three sides at this point. I recommend you don't to make it easy to screw the bolts that secure the Arduino to the case as you will see later on. By the way, you can find this on e-commerce sites such as Banggood or Amazon, Lazada and Shopee or even your local electronic stores. I got mine from a local shop called Deco here in Manila, Philippines. Don't bother checking out their website as it is severely underdeveloped and rarely maintained. Better to walk in and hope they have stock available. At this point, you can see that I've lost one of the translucent washers. Here I'm checking to see that all the sides of the acrylic case are aligned and secure before putting in the bolts and screwing everything into place. Coming back to it, it's time to put in the top panel and screw everything into place. Make sure that they are oriented the right way and that everything is nice and tight. These ones take the long screws and I opted to put the screws in from the top and bolt it underneath the case, opposite from the shorter screws that were used to secure the Arduino board to the case. Just tightening up the bolts using a pair of pliers. I noticed that there was some flex when pressed on the middle and this is likely because the top panel did not sit completely flush with the adjacent sides. It might have been a production flaw because one of the prongs that going to the top panel slits was too wide so I had to file it down. The flex doesn't bother me anyway so I decided not to fix it further. Make sure to plug in your Arduino to check if you damaged anything. Here you can see I'm using my PCS power source first as well as Panasonic 9V battery. Both work great. 
do know that you'll have an extra short screw so set that aside for your other projects. Now for some b-roll. Thanks for watching! Hope this helps!